Hello Ride On People, and for you guys in the States, happy Memorial Day. Hopefully my voice is coming through okay, I'm just getting over a bout of uh, COVID actually. Um, anyway, um, had my uh, BMW R1300GS Boxer for a week now, and uh, really, uh, really loving it, other than uh, being laid low for, for a couple of days with COVID. And uh, I was thinking about the, the history of uh, the Boxer and the GS, and really, it's been around for about 100 years, and there's been kind of three guys that have been very instrumental in the success of it. Uh, first one was Carl Benz of uh, Mercedes-Benz fame. He actually designed the opposed twin. He designed the Boxer first. Um, but it became kind of popularized by uh, Max Frizz, uh, at BMW about 100 years ago. It was kind of like the first boxer. So those two were very uh, important to the design and uh, for it uh, being a success. And then the third guy uh, is the A-list actor Ewan McGregor, uh, along with his um, acting buddy Charlie Borman in uh, the Long Way Round series, and uh, of course they did the Long Way Up and Long Way Down as well, but really the Long Way Round series was uh, was sold all over the world, and it created a massive interest in the big adventure bike market, and spe specifically the GS uh, models, because they rode GSAs around the world. And um, sales of uh, GSs and GSAs just went astronomically through the roof. They went up like six times, something like that. And ever since then, I think pretty much every single year globally, uh, the biggest uh, big capacity motorcycle sold globally is BMW's GS. And so those, uh, so BMW has a lot to thank Carl, you know, Carl Benz and Max Frizz and um, Charlie and Ewan. Um, particularly Ewan, just because he's obviously a bigger name, uh, being an A-list uh, um, actor, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And uh, anyway, uh, I was out at my local bike haunt the other night, and um, it's a bit of a surreal evening, really, actually. I was chatting with a friend of mine, Nate Kern, who's uh, an official BMW ambassador and um, test rider and um, racer for BMW. And I was also chatting with um, <clears throat> with uh, Rob Hammersmith, who's the drummer for, uh, long time drummer, now for Skid Row. And we were chatting about Lizzie Hale uh, of Hailstorm, who's, who I'm a big uh, fan of, and she's actually standing in uh, for their lead singer who has health issues, um, and he's doing a bit of a tour with them at the moment. Anyway, if that wasn't kind of surreal enough, um, Another kind of mutual friend uh, arrived with Ewan McGregor, and uh, I knew it was uh, Ewan straight away. Uh, he still had his helmet on, and uh, but I knew it was him. Um, there was about 200 people at this bike night, and uh, he's an old vintage four-cylinder Goldwing. And I went straight up to him just as he was getting off his bike, and I said, uh, kind of rather apologetically, uh, I'm really sorry, I know you get this all the time, Ewan, but I just bought a brand new GS. <laughs> and obviously, you know, part of its success is down to um, him and the Long Way Round series. And I said, uh, would he mind autographing the side panel for me? And he did. Uh, he was very gracious and we spoke for some, some time. And actually, it's kind of like a coffee shop there. And we sat at the same table along with um, Rob and Nate and um, a few mutual friends. And uh, it was, uh, you know, very nice to meet him. He was uh, very humble, very uh, full of smiles and happy to take selfies with people. And uh, uh, very nice to uh, to meet him. And uh, even nicer to get my brand new GS signed by him. So um, let's have a look at the autograph.
just got a small plane flying overhead. Kind of sounds like a, like a boxer engine plane, actually. It's kind of got that flat drone going, going on. Anyway, it caused me a little bit of a conundrum, really, actually, because um, I was going to take the side panels off and the sump guard uh, bash plate and have them powder coated black, which I think would look pretty good overall. Uh, a lot of people do it with the triple black, but I think it would also work with the, the 719 as well. And uh, I'm really not sure what to do now. I don't know whether to, uh, you know, I was considering wrapping it in carbon or having it powder coated black or just spraying it a satin black, uh, which I think would work very well. Um, but of course I don't want to lose the uh, the autograph from you and so I might actually just buy another side panel and do both and maybe frame this one I don't know um, but uh, it was just a, a nice touch not for everybody but uh, um, for a lot of people you know this would add a lot of value to the bike uh, I've got a picture of you and with the bike um, and uh, you know uh, He's synonymous with the GS name and will be forever. So, but anyway, more importantly than that aspect, it was just uh, just nice to meet him, and uh, it was good that he was gracious enough to autograph my bike. So, just sharing this with you. Hope you're having a great week, and if you're in America, enjoy your Memorial Day off. subscribe. Ride often, ride carefully, ride on. Mm -hmm.